hello friends today i'm going to show you how we need to track ddl changes like as a table created table deleted column deleted if column added column modified or column data type changed so how we need to track uh, and report them on daily basis as per our requirement so this is we got similar kind of requirement for one of the database sometimes uh, from latam team customers are like clients will uh, import the excel data sometimes the data will very big that uh, uh, even the it will not fit into that data column so that's we might they might change the de column definition so uh, first of all we need to track of them all those changes and one fine day we have to discuss with them these many times these many modifications has been done so that uh, we let's prepare one consolidated uh, list and like uh, so so that we can uh, like if any data changes are further we we have to decrease those changes as much as this is the requirement okay so now first of all we need to track all of these changes okay now that is the requirement for that to show the demo like i am using adventure works database uh, here i am opening query and this is the query that i am going to explain why it is now i am going to create a uh, one table structure snapshot called table here in that i am going to table name column name num like data type character is nullable data table inserted date and everything like that okay uh, this thing now i am going to create one table what then i am going to fetch the, all the information all i am currently i am loading the data what are the tables and their ch and those changes everything into this thing okay now done this yeah now i have uploaded all the views characters tables and everything into this table now what will happen i have taken right so now i will make the changes now as of now i am going to create two tables done okay after that i am going to alter uh, one i am going to add one name to the table testing okay i am going to alter one more role okay this is for new table and this is for existing table okay now i am going to uh, like change the uh, data uh, type as well not data uh, size okay now done i have done these many changes okay and later i will drop the error log as well okay and now it comes to now we want to track this in for we need to compare left join like these are all like see i have after taking the snapshot i have created two tables testing one and testing one okay so now i have to get those results click execute see i got this result done now i need to delete the old tables other see i as of now i didn't delete anything okay that's the reason i got any inform now let's go here now learn then what is the person dot email address yeah now i am taking this thing drop table table name like person dot email address i am doing this thing to make you uh, realize so that done i have dropped the table now what will happen like uh, this thing so if uh, this code is correct right i have to get this email address here okay and now just execute done see i got the email address now i need to add the new columns now i have just done that and if you compare that okay and then execute see in the error log i have added error procedure worker okay and roll number is added uh, in the either these are the new tables but it is also listed uh, the new tables as well okay why because in these it is not record but don't confuse that if you get that make sure that these tables are not existed in the new column tables get created okay now new columns deleted
okay so i am just trying to and uh, this thing as of now i don't have any columns deleted here now now if i what i would do so i want now i am is there any columns added newly so you wish to get error procedure see error log row per error log error number i have added the roll number new column added okay and come to here is there any data type changes recognized then see error log procedure see we have changed that something error in varchar to varchar we have changed it now if i need data size from 100 i think so we have changed from 100 so on. previously it was 126 now it's 100 okay so this is how you need to now only thing is here we need to check uh, new columns are added or not for the old tables see roll number was added now column deleted is there any column deleted that we need to think okay now what i need to do here i am trying to delete this thing control s yeah it's done now let's see whether it will be detected or not see it got deleted or rename so we have achieved uh, to track the ddl changes what we want to achieve actually now the second thing is everything we have achieved through to sql now what we need to we need to place them into html format for that what i have done is uh i will show you just to copy that now first i have declared all the variables for table count for table for deleted tables new columns data types data type change email body so email body is used to combine all of this uh, html okay for that for each and everything for html two tables created i have declare html and their size after that i have uh, pasted the in the, in the like this okay uh, now the same thing this is this is the same formula you have to apply for all the remaining things same html and you have to pass xml uh, like table row like that same formula now at the end of the day once you finish all of these logics and everything now you have to combine all the uh, html here set email body first i am counting html count html table okay and what are the new html delete tables new columns and html data type and like the all data types i have combining now outlook to the D, to the ddl to whom you need to send email body data uh, like health database not database it's um database ddl uh, either way either way i will ddl change change tracking report okay now this is done like that now if i click execute it is done 11 rows got affected now go to the your uh, email id now you just refresh yeah i got the email now if i see here this is how uh, total count of tables okay 93 see here i have taking 93 only as a base tables not like view store procedures anything see these are the new tables that got created and these are the missing tables okay now uh, that i have deleted and these are the, are the new columns which i have added these are the uh, data type changes and data type change change detected so this is how you used to get report see uh, for dba you can edit uh, 
very much good it look like proper but for as for dbs it's very good so finally we got the data and we represented data so we are not purely web developers and like so this much of is enough i think so and later on if you are very much eagerly entering like you can go to the html viewer you can add some colors it's all up to your wish okay so that is done so this is how you need to track so now this is all done now what you need to do okay now first go to the job new job in the step job first what you need to do okay and okay now what you need to do here yeah this thing right in the first job table is already created in the first job what every day what you need to do with this in tomorrow tomorrow what you need to do these testing tables and everything is already there so it's not detect any other now what we need to do you need to truncate the table first of all now today we have to truncate the table okay uh, go on create new job truncate the table first okay and take the new fresh snapshot and like uh, it's all depends upon the every day for, for a particular time you just take the truncate once it is done okay once these are all changes is done now you can uh, i mean to say like uh, you can truncate the table snapshot and load the fresh data okay so at the end of the day so i have uh, i have forwarded in everything right this thing i have done okay now at the end of the day you can use truncate table table command for this uh, table snapshot command okay later you can just load the data for uh, at every time for example uh, now uh, my customer uh, today today is 10 30 i will open one notepad 10 am changes will be detected okay changes will get added okay you know that now what you need to do uh, first you have to insert the load after after 10 or either maybe you just keep that 11 am 11 am you just go and truncate truncate this table snapshot oh, sorry you just uh, load insert the data you have to use this command to load the data fresh data into this uh, low insert the that table data table structure table structure okay now so every day i want to get report at 8 30 uh, pm for client meeting need to get report okay so once that report got right uh, like after nine o'clock or whatever it could be 9 pm truncate the table to load the fresh data the table okay so this is how you need to schedule as per your requirement okay and for requirement for everything you have to use this uh, report okay i'm going to give both of these for your testing and everything okay so in the comment box so you can get it from there and so implement and for example sometimes uh, sometimes there will be a schema name by default it will be right? in general case some here it will be like uh, schema is also different now you can somebody you can include the schema name as well okay so there are many changes right right okay now this is how you need to apply the change and you can modify you have to modify as per the requirement so i hope you may my, like my initiative and i request you that like if you like my work you just give thumbs up and comment 
uh, with some kind words. Uh, thank you. Bye.